The 21 California missions were the first permanent European settlements to be founded on the West Coast beginning in 1769. Father Sarah raised the cross at Mission San Buenaventura on Easter morning, 1782. It was named for St. Bonaventura, a 13th century Franciscan cardinal and philosopher. It had been planned as the third in the chain, but was destined to be the ninth and the last founded during Father Sarah's lifetime, and one of six he personally dedicated. A system of aqueducts was built from the river seven miles away to the holding tanks behind the mission. The entire water distribution system was destroyed by floods and abandoned in 1862. Part of the aqueduct and early mission remnants can still be seen. The mission's first church building was destroyed by fire. The construction of a second church was abandoned when a door gave way. In 1792, work was in progress on the present church and other buildings in the quadrangle, but it was not completed until 1809. A series of earthquakes and an accompanying tidal wave in 1812 forced the residents to seek temporary shelter a few miles inland. Six years later, the Padres and their flock had to remove sacred objects from the church and flee into the hills to elude the pirate Bouchard who was pillaging the coast. After secularization, the mission changed hands several times until the region's bishop successfully petitioned the United States to return part of the mission to the Catholic Church. In 1893, Father Rubio modernized the interior of the church, painted over the original artwork, altered much of the church, and raised the surrounding buildings. The church has since been restored to its original appearance. In the church bell tower hangs four original hand-rung bells and one replica automated bell. The mission's museum contains two original wooden bells as well. Learn more about the missions and other great places to visit along the coast in Along the King's Road, a guide to touring the California missions by Meredith Cherry.